This is KPIX Eyewitness News Nightcast. It was like someone drawing a gigantic curtain over the sky today. The solar eclipse that captured the Bay Area's imagination. We have all the breathtaking images for you in just a moment. The moon is not perfectly smooth. It's rough, so its, its leading edge is irregular. There are mountains there, and there are valleys. And Bailey's beads are the last part of the sun's disk just peeking between mountains and through valleys before the moon completely covers it up. And the very last Bailey's bead that is visible causes what's known as the diamond ring effect. The blackout lasted just over four minutes. The Bay Area was not in the path of totality, but the celestial show was just as exciting. And a lot of people took time out to check it out. They were on sidewalks and rooftops, catching it on television or viewing through homemade boxes or special glasses in every size and shape. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, my God. It's really difficult now. It's That's wonderful. Oh, God, you have more of these? That is so cool. As the moon's shadow passed over the hot sun on the Baja Peninsula, birds sang and dogs whined. Experts said the best show was here, where crimson solar flares exploded. What a picture! Those prominences are bright, glowing arms of hydrogen gas, which follow the sun's magnetic field, and that's why they loop around sometimes, and they can stretch out for hundreds of thousands of miles. It's said an eclipse can bring a couple together forever. Donald Simmons took advantage of that. Bring her up over here in the corner, and I'm going to propose to her. And I'm just say, will you marry me? This is an antique ring. <gasps> oh, my God. With a moon, so... star sapphire, and diamonds. He promised her the sun, the moon, and the stars. And he delivered. Linda Yee, News Center 4. Many eclipse watchers flocked to Mexico just for the day to see the astronomical phenomenon. Tonight, some Bay Area folks returned to SFO after the sighting. They came back with eclipse souvenirs, newspaper headlines, and once-in-a-lifetime stories to tell. It's the greatest show on Earth and in space. I flew down there yesterday, came back today. Um, there'll be one in Salem, Oregon in 2017. If you should live so long, go see it. Oh. And it was like there was a sunset, but in 360 degrees, you could see orange at the horizon on, all the way around. It was beautiful. The moon passes, and then you have a black circle with glowing sides. There's nothing that I've ever seen that would come close. It was fantastic. It was not like anything, uh, not like anything I've ever seen before. Many eclipse watchers say their trip was well worth the airfare. As you saw, the view from the Hawaiian mountaintop was breathtaking, but that wasn't the case down below on the Kona coast on the Big Island, disappointing a lot of tourists. Anthony Moore has the cloudy details. Dawn, in a land known for golden sun, clouds obscuring an event that would bring nightfall before noon. Yeah. Already, in the early morning hours, eclipse watchers staked out roadside viewing spots, knowing Mother Nature could ruin a once-in-a-lifetime sight. I have something to console myself with. <laughs> <laughs> One Japanese group paid $2,400 each for a bed of lava rocks. Two, one... Well, should have first contact, but we don't because the sun's behind a layer of clouds. I need a, uh, one of those Baba Louis they serve down at the bar. One hour later, no better. As darkness fell, onlookers were forced to take pictures of totality on TV. <laughs> Fortunately, up the Mauna Kea volcano, a handful of scientists and a world-class observatory were above the clouds. The totality wasn't as dark as I thought it would be, but it was worth it. It's just a big disappointment. Um. Even above the clouds, scientists say the weather interfered with sensitive experiments. But at least visually, one scientist admitted this was the most spectacular eclipse he'd ever seen. In Hawaii, Anthony Moore, News Center 4. And I don't know why we keep adding this note. We've already done it once, but the next solar eclipse in North America comes in 2017, which isn't going to help a lot of us, but some of us will be around. No, it's not too far away. Salem, no. Oregon is not as far away as Hawaii was. Right, right. We had come quite a while, you know, to get here, and then to watch the clouds covered up when you're ready to look at it, it's a little disappointing. And as if fate was out to tease the tiny island today, minutes after the eclipse was over, the sun was back. 
The total solar eclipse won't be for another 115 years. On the Big Island of Hawaii, I'm Lee Glasser, Channel 7 News tonight. Watch the dawn move across the country. Keep your eyes right in this area here. That's the shadow of the moon during the solar eclipse moving across Mexico. Let's watch it one more time. This, of course, the sunrise as the Earth spins underneath the sun. And then you'll see the shadow of the moon from the total solar eclipse early this morning.